being said, we all know that God is doing a new thing, right? This is something big, okay? This is literally world changing. But because this is world changing, people are not going to perceive this quite yet. I'm not going to put limits on what God is going to do because quite frankly, God can make y'all a believer in a snap of the finger. But with that being said, I'm going to say this. I don't know what all God is doing in making all things new, but God is about to start ordaining or probably has already ordained, but making it known that he is ordaining same sex marriages. The unfortunate thing about social media is that it allows people who call themselves prophets to say the most outlandish and blasphemous things. Take this guy from TikTok, this TikTok prophet who says God is doing a new thing and is ordaining same sex marriage. Yeah, I'm not joking. Take a listen. Okay, this has been something that has been sitting with me for a minute. And the way it was just brought to me, there is no denying that I understand that this is something that he that he indeed wants me to say. At first, I wasn't sure. Because I'm like, uh, okay, yeah, I know this. Everybody knows this. But people, I wasn't thinking about it in the sense of like how people are going to receive it. Because I don't care at the end of the day. As long as I know that God is telling me to say it, I'm going to say it. And I don't mean that to sound as rude as I did. But with that being said, we all know that God is doing a new thing, right? This is something big, okay? This is literally world changing. But because this is world changing, people are not going to perceive this quite yet. I'm not going to put limits on what God is going to do because quite frankly, God can make y'all a believer in a snap of the finger. But with that being said, I'm going to say this. I don't know what all God is doing in making all things new, but God is about to start ordaining or probably has already ordained, but making it known that he is ordaining same sex marriages. Yes. Listen, I know. I know. Listen to me. Listen to me. I know. I know. I know. First, he says that God is going to make all things new. People use that verse and they take it out of context. It comes from Revelation 21, verse 5, where it says, Then he who sat on the throne, behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Right, for these words are true and faithful. Now, the context of that is when the new heaven and the new earth at the end of this age, it has nothing to do with homosexuality at all. The Bible is very, very clear. There's numerous, numerous scriptures that talk about homosexuality. Jesus said in the beginning, he made them male and female. So if God was ordaining homosexual marriage, same sex marriage, then God would be a liar. Yet my Bible tells me in Hebrews 13, 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So God does not change. There's no shadow of turning with him. So his word is forever settled in heaven, right? So if God spoke out against sexual immorality, homosexuality, and any sex outside of marriage at the beginning, why would he change now? Because he's not changing. What this dude is hearing is not God. It's the spirit of the age, the God of this world that is speaking to him. But in the Bible, it says this. Yes, that I, y'all, y'all don't understand how. Oh, I already feel it. Yes, you are, you are correct. Your Bible is correct for that time period. Ah, there they go. That's where the progressives and the secularists and the ones that think the Bible was relevant for that time period. That's the argument they use. It was culturally relevant for that time. Now we have to adapt the Bible to the day's current times. No, the Bible doesn't change. The Bible is from everlasting to everlasting. People have to adapt their lifestyle to the word of God, not the other way around. 
God is making all things new. I know, I know, we all know this, right? But a lot of us don't want to believe that this has something to do with that. I'm here to tell you, in fact, it does. Okay. For all of these people on YouTube talking about dreams, all these people talking about false preachers, all these people that you see on YouTube, like I've mentioned before, they have to give you chapter and verse, and you have to go and be like the Bereans and look it up yourself. Don't be listening to these folks that get on YouTube, get on TikTok, get on Instagram, these social media prophets that say things and expect you to believe them. Don't believe these folks. Don't even believe me. Read the word for yourself and believe it for yourself. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you. If you're a Christian, he leads and guides you in all truth. He reminds you of those things that were said by Jesus. Don't be listening to these folks and running behind them based on what they, too many Christians are biblically illiterate and too many Christians are lazy when it comes to their faith, man. And they believe stuff like this because it makes them feel good because they don't have to acknowledge the sin that they're in. They don't have to change their lifestyle. No, you got this dude with the Cisco hairstyle saying that you can, oh, and that you could be a homosexual and be ordained by God. It's sad, very sad. I'm here to tell you, in fact, it does. And I've known this for a while. Well, God was giving me the puzzle pieces over time, but it took me stepping into myself, loving, it took a lot. It took a lot for me to become who I am before God would, would reveal something like this to me. There you go, stepping into himself. It's me centered, not Christ centered. Me, 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 me. I stepped into myself. God gave me the puzzle pieces. What about the Holy Spirit revealing this to you, man? Your Bible is correct for that time period. God is on the verge of making a, two, a new testament before our very eyes. God is making a new testament. Does he understand what the word testament means? It means covenant. And you know how a covenant is established by the shedding of blood. So whose blood gonna be shed to start a new testament? God is making a new, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I get it, I get it, I know. This is hard to believe. At the end of the day, God is about to show up and to show out and clear his name. The people who have been deterred, I, I it, it's so much that I, I don't know, but at the same time, I do understand through his understanding to me. God is making all things new and they don't even perceive it and a lot of you are not perceiving it because you don't want to some of y'all think y'all know everything and i don't mean this in a bad way but god is making all things new and we, we we've been hearing those words right i couldn't say it a certain way how i've been saying it i had to take all those homosexuality videos down because i was saying it wrong i was doing it wrong as per a correction I have received, God is calling me to that thing, but that is not the way that he wants me to do it. It's not about our preference. It's about salvation. And, and I received that a while ago, a year ago, but it, it just hit me the way it did a couple of months ago, building up to this. But I had to know the puzzle pieces, but I also had to become who I had to become in God for this. I know this is a lot. God is making all things new. If only you would receive it. Okay, dude. All right. That's enough of that. Look here. Whenever somebody comes to you and say, God is doing this, God is doing that. Again, you have to make sure that person, whatever they're saying, validated by the word of God. Look at scripture in context, two or three scriptures, not just one scripture. People make a doctrine off of one scripture. I mean, that's how the Mormons got started. Joseph Smith said, God, an angel came and spoke to him. And he, he saw Jesus Christ. That's a long story. That's a video for another day, but that's how the Mormon quote unquote got started, right? Don't believe that stuff. Have two or three scriptures and have that guy break it down to you. This dude didn't give you any scripture. He just said God's doing all things new or making all things new. Really? He took a verse out of context and use it to say that God is ordaining same sex marriage. God is ordaining homosexuality. There's a doctrine of devil. There's a devil continually to come in and wants to destroy the nuclear family. The first institution that God created, which is marriage. That's all that is. 
That guy is a victim. We pray for him. He is victimized. The spirit of this age has his mind blinded, but we are not victims. We are empowered for greatness.